been there. Look, you got a big old leech. gonna try fishing wherever I like I said this is this is all new to me I didn't really look into it the water levels are high I'm not really expecting to catch anything but it's it's a nice day and why not go out fishing so we're gonna try right here see what happens It's gonna be next to impossible to fish with rooms here. 
because every time I throw it in the water, he thinks it's a stick. Leave it loose. And the water's moving fast. I need to find a spot where I can I can cast like that. And there's some nice trees like right up there on that bend. It's usually a slow moving spot. That seems like a decent spot. I just need to keep this little turd nugget from going in the water and scaring him because he just jumps in. Little stinker. <laughs> so it's a cloudier day, so I'm trying um, silver and gold right now. I've got a little MEP spinner uh, with a little black and white tail. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just kind of figuring this out. I've never really learned. Um, I'm the kind of person that likes to figure things out on my own for the most part and then have one of those like eureka moments. That's kind of how it was with uh, like brook trout and trout that are in lakes and stuff. I kind of, you know, I had some people tell me what to do and then I started realizing seasons and learning on my own. And this is one of those things. Like right now, you can see the water's rushing right here. But right here it's back swirling, right down there, and I'm trying to get it in between there. And there's also, it's, I'm just gonna keep doing this all along the river. And you know, and if I don't have any bites or anything like that, I'll try a different color. And it still might be a little early yet, but hopefully we'll snag a fish and I'll have one of those Eureka moments and I'll just think, oh, that's how you catch them. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, looks like that's right behind that rock, right there. That spot, I'm gonna try to get there without making noise. This water is super clear, so I'm sure they can see me. So it's hard to, it's gonna be hard to sneak up on, on that, but I'm gonna try to get from over there. We'll see, let's try.
get this one, uh, this silver. See, I, I brought my small tackle box. Me and Funk just recently went through all my tackle, and I separated everything, and I made up a little tackle box. And I didn't put any, like, black spinners in. So I only got the gold and silver with white, and then I've got chartreuse and orange. So I've got bright colors. This is pretty much the only darker one I have. I wanted to go with all black, but we'll give this one a try for a few more tries, and then we'll switch to, like, a gold and chartreuse, or just chartreuse. be a trout fisherman. <laughs> He's lacking stuff. <laughs> Monty, come here. Monty, can you teach him a thing or two about just, just relaxing on the shoreline? <laughs> come on, teach him. All right, it's pretty hard to pick up on camera. Ruger, you stay. It's pretty hard to pick up on camera, but behind this rock, the water's swirling. I think that's a nice, a nice little hole, and I feel like my fish senses are saying there's got to be a fish in there. There's, I can't really record because there's, there's a whole bunch of trees here. So I'm going to be behind this tree right here and pass through that way. Because the water's rushing here. If I don't get a bite on this thing here, I'm, I'm definitely doing something wrong. <laughs> Nothing yet, so I'm gonna switch lures to uh, chartreuse or brighter colors. I'm thinking that, um, yeah, it's just hard fishing right now. It's, it's spring runoff and the water levels are super high and it's hard to find anywhere with slow moving water. And I don't know if there, I don't know what kind of fishing is in this river. This is just a place I've wanted to go for quite some time and fish it. It just happens to be the time when you can start fishing. I couldn't, there's still snow on the road. I could barely get my truck back here to get to this uh, creek. Creek, river, stream, whatever. Sticking with creek. It's a creek. That, that looks like a good spot. There'll be more good spots. There's a million good spots. One of these days we're gonna catch something. Maybe I should throw in a, a little jig. I don't know. I feel like a spoon's a little too heavy. This is my favorite trout lure right here. It's got the, uh, the meps with the orange and the chartreuse and the brown tail, brown and black. This is what we're gonna try next. Okay. This seems like the best slow moving water I've seen so far. So we've gotta tell a certain someone, Ruger, stay, please. Please, hey, look at me. Hey, 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 do, do, do. Please stay, please stay out of the water. Please, would you please stay? All right, stay here, stay.
there. So no longer are we fishing for the smart fish that uh, you need to be stealthy for. We're fishing for the dumb ones that are so hungry that they don't care if they hear a dog splashing or a human talking or crashing around. They're just going to bite that no matter what. That's the only fish that we're going to get today. I'm definitely going to come back here and try all this, this whole section again when the bugs get nasty, like at the middle and the end of May and June. I'll come back out here. There's no bugs right now, absolutely zero. So when the bugs get bad, I know this water will be way lower, be slower moving, and the fish will be hungrier. They'll probably be a lot easier to catch. It's my understanding, if there's water, there's fish. And if there's fish, you'll catch them. We've got some bones here. Yeah, look at that. Right next to some poo. We got bones and poo. What do you think, Rugs? Bones and poo? What do you think, Monty? You like bones and poo? Yeah, we're up. We had to go around. There's a down there next to the river. Uh, it's bluffy. It's very bluffy. And it's like waterfall, so we have to come up and around. Oh man, we got the mother load of poo right here poo there, there's poo here. Everywhere there's poo poo. Oh, there's even more poo. Oh, more poo. It's a poopocalypse. Hey buddies. There's up on a rock bluff. It's getting really, we had to go a ways now, but I think we may have found the best spot of the day. Right down there, where the end of all this rock bluff and rapids. I think that, all that area, there's even a little log jam. Let's see if we can get some focus on that. No, it's not in focus. Anyways, that might be the last spot we try because it's starting to get really thick and bluffy. Maybe we'll go a little further, we'll see. We'll see if we catch anything there. We're gonna try this spot really well, approach it very stealthy. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling that spot. That looks really nice.
Kruger. Oh, well, there's no fish after that. Um, so I guarantee you, uh, in a couple of weeks when the bugs get really bad, there will be fish here. There is, has to be. This is a nice deep pool for the back eddy. This is like a great spot. Um, I'm not getting any bites. I've been fishing for, I think like an hour and a half, two hours, going up and down, trying holes. Um, nothing so far. I just got to try the two spoons. No luck. You know, like I said, I'm learning, but I think that's gonna do it for today. We'll definitely come back and try all these same spots when the water's a little lower and uh, the bugs are out. There's, there's a whole bunch of things I could be doing wrong. I could be, I could be bringing it in too, too slow, too fast. They might just want worms. The water could just be too high. I could have a Ruger that keeps jumping in the water and scaring them all away. Who knows? But we're going to get heading back to the car. So as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Let's go, boys. Poop, 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 dogs, poop, 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 dogs. So I've only ever seen one deer tick in my whole life until today. <laughs> we just got out of the woods and uh, Mr. Ruger here, I reached over to pet him on the head and there was two deer ticks right on the top of his head. So that's joyful. Like I said, there was no bugs out. That's a lie. The ticks are hatched and that river must be deer tick territory. So now I've got to go through this fuzz stink and this turd nugget and I didn't think I'd have to deal with ticks yet, but they're, they're on tick preventative so the ticks on them will die. It's just, I don't want the ticks going off of them onto me or funk because I don't want to get Lyme's disease. Oh well. Yeah, there's not much fur to check on either of these two. <laughs> Well, that was a, I think it's a female deer tick. It's a deer tick, 100%. Uh, the wood ticks, now that I remember again, they have the white kind of around where the head would be. The deer ticks, I think the males are smaller and have the white teeny sliver on the bottom. And uh, then the females like that one have the brown all the way around the butt. So probably not going back to that area i don't i don't like i don't like deer ticks they, those carry lyme's disease and i don't mess around so that sucks and now we've got to do a whole lot of searching on the dogs okay. oh well